Okay. Uh, this is the embedding center. This is where we're going to um, take the blocks from the processor will get embedded with paraffin. And I'll just show you that right now. I'm using the small mold because we only have one piece of tissue. This area here is hot and this is a little cold plate. So you just put the mold here with paraffin in it, put the tissue in there, and you can use this small tandem to press it down and then put the cassette on top, put a little more paraffin in, and move it over to the uh, cold plate, which is called a cryostat over here. And that's one. So the second one has more tissue. So we can use a bigger mold. Medium sized mold for two pieces of tissue. And we're going to line them up. Put them there. And I'm going to use the bigger tandem for that. Press down. has three specimens in it. So I'll just use another medium sized mold. Line up the tissue. Use the large tandem. Tampers. Push it down. and then you'll see what it looks like after that. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, blocks that are cold now and just pop them out of the mold. That's one, two, three, just to show you a little bit of what they look like. If you could hold them a little closer, to, further down, oh. so we could see. Okay, yeah, that's good. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Great. And then I'll wait a minute. <laughs> then I'll usually scrape the sides just to get the extra paraffin off. And then bring them over here. Now I'm going to face my blocks. Laid in my microtone first. This is facing my blocks. And I'm going to put it in a little ammonia water because the tissue is hard. facing it enough just to get a full face of the first level that I'm going to cut. So they've been in ammonia water for about five minutes. And now I'm putting them back on the ice. to get cold and that's going to take a few minutes. I am labeling some slides for the blocks that I'm going to cut. And I'll just put one behind the other. I'm going to start picking up from here. I'm going to go this way. Okay, 
So the first thing you want to do is make sure you use DI water. That's because it's cleaner. And um, it doesn't have a lot of static. And I'm just getting the bubbles out of it so that they won't go under the slide when I try to pick up a section. If I were to put regular water in there when you weren't looking, uh -huh. would, I, you, I would, would know. you know? You would know. I wouldn't tell you, but I would know. You would know. I would just dump it out. Okay. Because you, you would, I would know because when I lay a ribbon down, it'll start moving around. With because the DI. Because of this, with this, this more static. This and more, the, yeah. So it would move, okay. It's just going to, I should show you the difference, but... Maybe but anyway, it, nope. it does it does move around. Okay. So okay, here we go. Each turn is five microns? Yes. Do you see this? This is my ribbon. Don't breathe. There. And you would sort of attach it to the uh, to the side. Yes. So it won't start floating all around. Okay, so you don't just randomly throw it into the middle. Oh no. Okay, great. Well, you wouldn't be able to pick anything up. Okay, so it attaches to if the you, side. If you do that, you'll be chasing it like yeah, that. Yeah. So I do attach it to the side, and sometimes I just look at it to see if the wrinkles. See how? Did you see it a few minutes ago? Maybe I'll put another one out there. Because if you just show you the difference. wrinkles right there see how they're see that around there and mm -hmm. see that's different yep. you see the difference yet I see the difference see the, the wrinkles okay. shine you can reflect off the, right the light reflects off so the I wouldn't pick that up yet I would pick up well I want to pick up the one that doesn't have too many bubbles in it and that's it that's the section that's it so so basically and that looks just like this and it looks just like your block, which it should. <laughs> it should. It should look like your block. It should. And, um, and so then I'm going to place that there, and I'm going to use a chem white and get that off so that the next section won't have any of the first section on it. Okay. So this one's done. I'm going to put that there so that we can file it later. And then we're going to... We'll try one more, <clears throat> and then maybe I'll use my iPhone video to actually get a video of the piece of tissue floating because our video now okay. can't get it. Now, see see how I didn't get the full face? That's not a full face. See the difference? Right. You see the difference? Then I would have to go in deeper. You would just have to, and you can look while you're turning your wheel going in deeper you can see it you can see when you get a full face you should be able to but I would have to go deeper 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 and to close up that little circle and it doesn't want to work <laughs> and at the same time you want to make sure you don't go cut through the entire right. tissue exactly and say oh my god I have nothing left. <laughs> right? Right. Okay, see, I'm starting to get there. Okay. So then I'm going to put this back on the ice because I just cut through a lot and, and it needs to be cold again when you cut it. But I'm going to take this 
we'll pick this up. You don't want to see that anymore. So that was not a complete. Uh, right, and then you can see some little floaty things around there. Some floaters. We're going to get them out. The trash can is over there, so I'm not going to throw that. <laughs> and I'll do block number three, which means I will have to move this over. Okay.